Okay, we got some stats up with the power of the cheesecake that Guy Fieri gave us. And now I guess it's time to head into the head into the castle. What have we here, I wonder? Cast! King! Greenhorn's king! A much-loved gentle giant with a large appetite. And princess, fairest in the land, the king's only daughter harbors a secret love. The prince of next door. <laughs> the prince of next door! And the princess's fiancé. Arrogant, but loves his mama. The smirched noble son grew up with the princess, but now rarely gets the chance to see her. Choose me characters to play the royal court. You know? <laughs> I'm very tempted to make the king the freaking king from Zelda CDI. Okay, hold on. What are popular things that people are doing for the king? Okay, there's a, there's a few things around here, to say the least. I might... Hmm. Hold on. I should probably... Should, I'll choose the princess first here. What's popular for the princess? Um... There's some interesting things for the... For the princess here. Um... What to do? What to do for that? Let's look at my library. Select Nintendo Switch system because I have a whole bunch here. Um... You're making the princess cronk? Yeah, that's not one that I have. Oh, I just hovered over one that I have and it's a bit cursed and I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'm not gonna do that one, but the one that I hovered over was the happy mask salesman from Majora's Mask. Uh, but yeah, Anima, you're heading out. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out, Anima. Um, the happy mask salesman? I have like another good option as well though. I have another really good option looking at it. I mean, there's a lot of really good options here. Everything is a good option, it feels like. <laughs> okay, uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm, this is one that I'm doing. Ferris in the land, the king's only daughter harbors a secret love. Okay. Might be back maybe with a new and improved Harmonia. Okay, let's see here. So I got the princess. I got the princess chosen. Then is the king, Greenhorn's king, a much loved gentle giant with a large appetite. Okay. Who's a much loved gentle giant with a large appetite? That would be, um. <laughs> this one would be kind of funny. But, like, it might not work that well without, like, the whole hair options and thing from Bob. <laughs> I might just do this one anyway. Maybe. Hmm. Doing this one. I'm doing that one. Screw it. Okay. So... Let's, uh, let's uh, see here when it comes to these ones. A prince of next door and the princess's fiance, arrogant but loves his mama. Hold on. Hold on. And the other one was grew up with the princess but now rarely gets a chance to see her. So who's like the nobleman who's arrogant but loves his mama and the princess's fiance? Who's engaged to the person that I set as the princess? Prince from a nearby land. Hmm. Hmm. The answer is, oh man, I wish I had a Ferdinand von Eyer one. I wish. The arrogant nobleman should be Groose. Can I search for a Groose one? Receive? Can I search? I don't think I can search. Access key. I would do Groose if I had it, but I don't. Is the thing. Prince from a nearby land. Who, uh is arrogant, but he loves his mama, is, um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know here. <laughs> There's so many wacky options, but, uh... Maybe I want to save that one for later. I don't know. I don't know. This is who I'm choosing. I made my choice. I made my choice. 
And then finally, we have grew up with the princess, but now rarely gets a chance to see her. So, hold on. What are common ones for this? Popular. <laughs> there's some interesting... There's a there's a few Ugandan Knuckles ones that are the besmirched noble son. There's a Shrek one. Somebody made the Minecraft villager. <laughs> um... There's a lot of wacky thing where Bob's and people have made. I'm just gonna look at my own library here again. Select. Smirch Noble's son, huh? Who could be, um. Who should it be? Now, I'll save those ones for later there. This is what I'll do. This one should instead be... Hmm. Making choices is so hard. It's so hard to make choices. The besmirched noble son is a... Uh... Wait, maybe I should set the besmirched noble son as the... No. Hold on. Hold on a hot second here. I'm actually changing the prince from a nearby land to someone that I realized was probably a better description of arrogant as I was looking through looking for the besmirched noble's son. But then who do I do for the besmirched noble's son? There. Done. Done. I think I I think I decided. I I think <laughs> I think I think we've made our choices. The roles have been assigned. Okay, here we go. We made it to the castle, Greenhorn Castle. Um, I'll just have my camera off for now because basically cuts. <laughs> Hi. Well, I guess I'll see your soldier knuckles. I guess I'll turn it back on. This is King Winnie's castle. Mind your manners. <laughs> Lax soldier, Sands. King has a lot of time to sit around and eat. Goes to show what a peaceful country we are. <laughs> well, um. No, let me back in there. Let me back in here. Hold on. Hold on. So yeah, the laid back soldier is Sans. <laughs> Welcome, traveler. <laughs> it's Winnie the Pooh. King Winnie. What business have you here? The dark <laughs> I can't. <laughs> dark Lord attacked the town of- Wait, what? I literally can't get into the Professor Oak voice anymore. The freaking old time- My grandson's name is what gets me back into the swing of things. The Dark Lord attacked the town of Greenhorn? <laughs> and this miscreant <laughs> stole the people's faces, you say? <laughs> we don't believe it. Of all the tall tales. <laughs> Help! The king's face has been stolen! Oh no! We gotta go through wayward woods and arid frontier! That's where Winnie the Pooh is! Go! Save the king! We don't get to see, like, the princess yet or anything. Um. <laughs> royal support, all right, Green Toad. I have but one job. I support the king. It's a heavy task. And we have royal support left, Snoop Dogg. It's a lot of work supporting the king. You've got to be really committed. You've got to take it super seriously. <laughs> Of course, Winnie the Pooh is in the woods. Of course, it would wind up being so, wouldn't it? What, A next? It seems you can't go in. Uh huh. Do I get to see the princess and such? No. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, the king, King Winnie. Yeah, so you're over at the you're over at the place. Okay, well. <laughs> Guess I can't go in there yet. So, we're at 97 rescued, so we're gonna get that other upgrade here soon. 
I guess you'll just get to find out who I chose for the princess and the princess later. It'll be a surprise. Okay. Okay, let's see here. I guess we make our way into the woods to save King Winnie is what we do. My goodness. I was looking through my we my Mies. Like, who do I make the freaking king that eats a whole bunch? And then I chose Winnie the Pooh. HP bananas are delish. So soft, so squishy. Sweet, but not too sweet. I could eat them all day, every day. Oh, was that just... It was just a little team bonding moment. Not really feeling it, not like Shulk. <laughs> not really feeling it like Shulk. Oh, we got a, we got an enemy encounter here. That's what we got. Oh, what's this? A mall? Ah, oh, cool. Cool and ego out here. He's gonna... Off target! Oh, what the heck? Um, I'm just gonna fire the Banshee is what I'm gonna do, me thinks. Sure, Mole's turn. You gonna throw rocks? Oh, but cool and Nigo. Too slow. Too slow. Smackaroo, nice. Holy moly. I can't believe this. What do you do about this guy? What? Nigo's turn? Off target. Huh? The sparrow lends a hand. What? What do you do about that? Do I have to Google this? Oh my goodness, you hit hard. Hold on. Oh, I guess you can land attacks. It's just rare. I was literally about to Google it on my phone. I'm going to Google it on my phone anyway. Um, let's see here. Metopia Mole. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. So, is there a specific thing to do against them? Um... What to see here? No, it doesn't really say anything that helps me there. What do I do exactly there? It doesn't really say anything. It doesn't really tell me, quite frankly. But yeah, Super Hyperion, I got some work done. All right, I appreciate you by hanging out. Hope you have a good rest of the day. You may or may not have Stan Lee in your party. Well, gotta bring along the man, the guy. That's that? That's that. I remember seeing him at a Comic-Con briefly once, several years back. But the time that he was there was just like, time for like autographs to freaking, the autograph line to go like all the way out the building and stuff like that. Make his battle cry excelsior. Wait, what was this? Drink, don't drink. If it was Captain Jack Sparrow, I'd say drink. You know, Inigo Montoya's thing is he goes to pretend to drink, but he doesn't actually drink. And then the other dude winds up getting poisoned. So like, not drinking is kind of his thing. If it was anybody in my party but Inigo Montoya, I would have literally chosen to drink. But his thing is literally poisoning both the both the wine chalices, and then like pretending to drink his and not drinking it, and then the other guy gets poisoned and dies. And he beats him in a test of wits and whatnot, you know? That's literally his thing. I can't just not do his thing, you know? Oh, cool. Cool dudo. Who outsmarted the guy. Sure, a horse. Horse mounted attack on the mole. Sure. A mounted attack. I hate these moles so much. What the heck is this, man? You okay? Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow, as a matter of fact. Brock's turn. Smackaroo. Oh, we reached 100. Sweet! We reached 100 on the Thingmerbob. Ow, rude. Ow. So rude. Setting a trap. Great! These moles are f so mean! Laid back. Well. Lightning. Oh, nice! Nice! That was perfect. That worked out perfectly. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Gobble down an HP banana. Well, home cooking. You gotta give that to an ego by chance. Chop. Oh, you're gonna restore your own thing. Oh, you were the one that was missing health, not not an ego. Okay. Okay. Smack nice. Well, A's turn. Wow, they're so mean. You okay? You okay, Brock? <laughs> My goodness. All right, yeah. Let's just do a regular attack. 
I hate these bowls. I hate them. Home cooking. It's gonna eat up. Eat up real good, delicious. Showing off for Professor Oak, nice. Why is the rum gone? And why am I in a bee costume? That's that, well, okay. Professor Oak gained a level, cool. Sparrow gained a level, sweet. Learn snap out of it, snap a friend out of it when they're not themselves. Okay, Brock gained a level. You'd love to see it, and an ego gained a level, sweet. Well, nice, strata, strata Sunday. Okay, off we go. <laughs> Found it in, yes, perfect. Man, this game is pretty whack, isn't it? This game is pretty whack a lot of the time, isn't it? I hate the moles. You got a letter. Whoa, dear Professor Oak, my honey is so kind and handsome to boot. Here's hoping you find your bliss too. And hopefully he says something along the lines of not and all you guys. That's a whatever the heck. I can't even properly make my Xenoblade 2 references. Got three outing tickets. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, you rescued a hundred people. Gift of divine power. Sweet. HP sprinkles upgrade. What is it gonna go up to 30? Your total HP sprinkles rose from 25 to 30. Nice. MP sprinkles upgrade. Nice. Rose from 10 to 15. Ho ho! Merry Christmas! The people's gratitude has awakened new power within you. Truly, you are a beacon of hope for all of Metopia. Alright, you may continue smiting monsters. Go back to smiting monsters now. Oh, and it'll get your next perk once you reach 150 people. Hop to it! Ho ho! Merry Christmas! And all that stuff. All right, gradually building up some stuff. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow does seem like a character who would sleep with a horse. Like next to a horse in the stables and such. Hmm? Got a rum in here. A carrot! That's not a rum. That's basically like rum to you. That and the souls of the innocent. That too. Well acquainted. Learned mounted attack. Look at that. Saddle up for an attack with added horsepower and likely more damage. Well, that horse is so cursed. Um, back to smiting, we just need that 2d8 radiant damage. That is absolutely what we need, isn't it? Can we go on an outing with the horse? To the f wait, <laughs> wait, no, he's going with somebody. I really wanted to go fishing with the horse. <laughs> I really wish. Man, I'm sad that we couldn't go couldn't go fishing with the horse. I want a refund from this game now. Oh, they've got a battle here. Oh, with two of these freaking mean banshees and stuff. Two of them mean benches. <laughs> I smacked with the pan. Crying crocodile tears. <laughs> this game is so weird. It's such a weird game, man. Smackaroo? Nice, we're at 106 rescued. Okay, Captain Jack is way too busy crying. Oh, he actually landed a hit there. Actually managed to land a hit. <laughs> Brock is unmoved. Brock is just completely unmoved by that. Oh, you missed! Oh yeah, set that pan on fire. Now it's a true drying pan. Hot. It is real hot. Gonna show off for him? No, you're gonna take cover behind him. Oh no, you're gonna ask if he's okay. Is all it was, can't see for the tears? Oh, but you landed a hit anyway, nice. Nice, nice. Team Sparrow won. <laughs> well, I think we won. Go ahead and hit next. Nice. Nice. Okay. Well, fishing trip time? Yeah, look at that. Easy thumbnail material. Ah! Caught something. Here we go again. Wow, I'm about to get freaking TOS banned. Sparrow got one MP candy. Extra MP candy was sent to the inn. Okay, lucky you. Well, hey, they're growing closer. Look at that. You love to see it. Look at them. They may be sort of like each other. Learn praise. Sweet. Love to see it. All right, back to the inn. Oh, we got a souvenir of like some more stuff and junk. Um. And then maybe they go to the... Okay, yeah, now I'm seeing the pairing that would do stuff there. Yeah, let's bring these two to the movies and stuff. Because they don't have a whole bunch of support with each other yet. Yeah, the freaking best pairing here. Professor Oak and Inigo Montoya. The most canonical freaking duo of best friends. 
any media has ever seen. I just can't wait for it to become canonical within the Pokemon universe and stuff. Um, <laughs> well, look, they're gonna enjoy their movie together. They probably went to go see, like, the a Pokemon movie of some sort. Or, like, The Princess Bride or something like that. Is that Walter White back there? <laughs> Jesse, I think we need to go cook some meth now. I don't know how to feel after seeing this film. Ah, the last colonel. Well, the, the last colonel? Sure doesn't look like it. Okay, well, they're growing closer. They're growing closer there. There we go, they're acquainted. I learned to show off together, nice. Okay, well, but yeah, they could well have been going to see the Princess Bride. Could well have been. Yeah, let's do another outing here at Fishing Spot. And they'll get they'll get their bond up and such. Yeah, let, let's send these two nerds fishing. Is what we do. Why are your cheeks red? Because Professor Oak freaking loves you, man. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, who wouldn't? Look at them go. Look at them two lovebirds. My goodness. Welp. You must clear your mind and figure out what my grandson's name is. Mm, Ash's mom. <laughs> well. Oh man, they didn't get like a full hard up. They got like some progress. We got an HP banana. And Marzer level 1 Stan Lee is one-shotting goblins. Nice. Well, hold on. Let's see here with some grub and stuff. Defense and speed? Sure, let's give a thing to Brock because uh, he kind of lacks in defenses and stuff. Um, okay, so freaking Professor Oak really likes that one. We don't know about it here. Yeah, let's find out whether you like it or not. Oh, he loves it! Oh, he hella loves that. Yeah, and then, of course, you love the tears of of our foes, essentially. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep on giving you tears, Professor Oak, your favorite. Professor Oak loves tears. And then HP. Well, let's see if you like it, Inigo Montoya. Inigo found it delicious. Sweet. Apparently, he loves it. Or he enjoys it, at least. Not loves it, but... Enjoyed it at least. Should we go gambling? No, nah, let's not go to gambling. We're gonna set off. Yeah, set off with this party. Oh my goodness, look at all these. Look at all these arrows now. Jeebus. You've used foods to boost magic by 10 or more. Whoa, isn't that crazy? There's gonna be that for like all the different stats or something, probably. Okay, we gotta make our way into the wayward woods out here. That's what we better do. Oh. Oh! That goes pretty darn far, but I know that Winnie the Pooh, the king, is over here somewhere. So maybe we should go this way first and foremost. Okay then. Time to go find my missing grandson. Need gold. So I can finally buy a cell phone and text my text my grandson and not those not those phone lines that talk seductively into your ears. No way. There's no way I'd want that. I just need gold for reasons that are not that. Um, lightning, lightning! I cast lightning on you. Sparrow lends a hand. Sweet. Is Sparrow gonna hit them all or just the one? I assume just the one in the center there. No, it hits them all for some plus there. Nice. That's actually pretty awesome. Hurt Anito. Stubborn. <laughs> Raise for impact. Nice. His goal for a phone so he can call Ash's mom. He lives like a one minute walk away. He doesn't need that. It's just so he can freaking call her at like 2 a.m. A uh, cool and ego out here. Aim for the weak spot. Smackaroo. Nice. I haven't seen Brock do his kind thing in a good while. <laughs> Jeez, that horse. That horse, though. It's so scary. It's so scary, though, honestly. <laughs> it's so freaky looking. What the hell? Oh, branch and paths? Well, I'm pretty sure up this way was the way to freaking Winnie the Pooh the King. What if he's out doing important research? Yeah, I mean, 
Professor Oak needs to do lots of important research, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. What's going on here? Wow, get a lungful of this fresh air. I might even go for two lungfuls. Thanks, trees, for all this clean air. Yeah, thank you, trees. <laughs> okay. Yeah, research for science, of course. Everything is all in the name of science. There's a rock in my shoe. There's a snake in my boot. Woody is actually one of the me's that I have on the switch. Which way? Up, I guess. I think up a this way, because, uh... I think this way for the... For Winnie the Pooh the King. So I think that way would make some good progress and such. Maybe, maybe. Oh, the freaking moles again. I hate them. Pula Nigo is coming out here with his toy sword. Oh, nice. He actually smack a root them all. Brock is looking elsewhere. Look out. Oh. Oh, I didn't know I was in time. Darn you. Why do you have to not notice in time? Yeah, let's show off for Captain Jack Sparrow. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, and Nigo's looking elsewhere. Look out! Ha! Ah! Okay, nobody has actually, like, successfully taken cover from a friendo, like, saying to take cover yet, I don't think. Sure doesn't seem like it. Nice. Why is the rum gone? Why? That's a spot. Darn you. I hate these moles. I don't like him. Come on, smack root. Let's show off for our Nigo. And I miss. Of course I miss when I'm showing off for a Nigo. Aw, oh, man. Finally, there we go. There we go, Jeebus. <laughs> I hate seeing that horse with his derpy face after each battle being like, Guh? It's just at the end of every single battle. You want a dog? Dogs are great. Dogs are great to have around. I love my doggie. Yeah, that mole is sus. You just saw it vent. No. No. I'm freaking... Oh, we got contained iron water. Oh, nice. For that, I'm freaking... Let's copy-paste the name here. I'm timing out for a whole 10 seconds for that. That's what I'm doing. Bam. There, I timed out Gangster Samurott for 10 seconds. Have fun not being able to write in chat for the next 10 seconds for that comment. <laughs> oh, man. Iron Wand. Let's, uh... There, we got the thing. Enjoy the 10 second timeout. It's probably over by now. Um, <laughs> just, just for that. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Well, we'll see if there's no tough enemies. We shall see. Oh, we got some more chests and stuff. We got a game ticket. Where's this path leading us? I'm just now looking on the map in the bottom left. We're going down to like the bottom right now? Where are we going? We found an inn apparently. I don't know where we're going with this. Quite frankly, I'm not completely certain. They're growing closer. Nice. You love to see it. It's so bright. It is so bright. There, they're acquainted. So they got warning together. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Sparrow's gonna sleep in the stables. <laughs> okay. Well. Hmm. Maybe that is a good place to wrap things up, actually. I was, I was planning on doing, like, a level or two more or something like that, but... Yeah, I have heard of the saying, all roads lead to lead to Rome. But I've been doing this for like four hours now. And I don't think this was a game to be done in like four hour sessions. And yada yada. So I think I might be wrapping, wrapping it up there. That's it for now. And then it just closes out saving. This has been interesting. Oh, and then it shows like the bit of the overworld that we're at. Always lead to Among Us. This is a game, isn't it? This is a game. This is a video game, huh? Well, we'll be hopping back into this again in the near future. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, uh, look forward to that, I suppose. I don't know what I was expecting from this game, but, uh, it certainly wasn't whatever this is. <laughs> it certainly wasn't that. So, yeah, I'm gonna go chill with something that isn't this game, I feel like this is the game, a kind of game that is best for short sessions, is what it feels like, and not like four hour long finger bobs, is very much what this feels like. But yeah, so thanks all who stopped by and hung out for the shenanigans here, I'm gonna go do stuffs, so take care all, and see ya.